Today we're going to look at operations with functions, basically adding functions, subtracting functions, multiplying and dividing functions. We're going to start out with f of x being an x over an x minus 2, and a g of x being a 3x over an x plus 4. So f of x, or f plus g of x, really just means you want to take your f and your g and add them together. Well, you should realize or remember that to add fractions, you need to have a common denominator. In this case, our common denominator is just the two denominators multiplied together. So the first fraction needs an x plus 4 on the bottom, and therefore 1 on the top. Because whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top. Similarly, over here, we need an x minus 2 on the bottom and an x minus 2 on the top. So then we can write it as one fraction all over our common denominator. Then we'll have our x times our x plus 4. Then we'll have our big plus sign. Then we'll have our 3x and our x minus 2. We're going to leave the bottom alone. We're going to eliminate the parentheses on the top. Then all we're going to do is combine like terms on the top. And we're going to leave the bottom alone. You'd always want to check, either are there any common factors on the top or the bottom? We could pull out a common factor of a 2x on the top, but it's not going to leave us with any common factors on the top and the bottom, so you could leave it alone, as it won't reduce. This here means all you have to do is subtract your two functions. So take your f of x and minus g of x. Once again, you need to have a common denominator. It's the same one, so you got to multiply the first fraction top and bottom by your x plus 4, second fraction top and bottom by your x minus 2, so you have your common denominator, then on top you'll have your x times your x plus 4. Then you'll have your minus sign right here, and your 3x and your x minus 2. Then all we're going to do is just basically simplify the top. Well, bottom is going to just stay the same. Distribute through on the top, distribute through the negative 3x. So make sure you have this sign here changed, because a negative times a negative is a positive. Collect your like terms. And once again, you'd want to see if it would reduce, but there's no, there won't be any common factors in the top and the bottom. Remember, you can only cross out things that are multiplied by the whole top, multiplied by the whole bottom. Well, this one here says fg of x, which means all we're going to do is multiply our fractions. So we're going to take our f times our g, multiply them together. Remembering multiplying fractions, you multiply the top, multiply the bottom. So the top just simplifies down to a 3x squared all over the bottom, and nothing's going to cancel. When you have f divided by g of x, that means take your f, divide it by g. Now, dividing by a fraction, you could take the top, write it as a division, traditional division sign, and then write the bottom. But remember, in multiplying by, or dividing by a fraction, you want to change it to multiplying by the reciprocal, and it's always the reciprocal of the second fraction. So flip the second fraction upside down. You'll notice in this case, we do have a common factor on the top and the bottom. It happens to be the x times the whole top, and this x here times the whole bottom. So we can cross those out. Then we work with what's left. It'd just be our x plus 4 on the top, and then our 3 times our x minus 2 on the bottom. Now we're going to look at composition of functions, taking one function, putting it into another function. But let's review function notation and what it means. f of 2 means you need to go to f, replace all your x's with a 2. Well, you're going to have a 2 squared plus a 3 times a 2. Since we're dealing with just normal numbers, that's going to simplify a little bit down to 10. f of triangle means you go to f, replace both of your x's, or all your x's, with your triangle and you get triangle squared plus 3 triangle. Or f of box means you got to go up here, replace both x's with box. And you get box squared plus 3 box. Then we have f of g of x. Well, g of x is your 7x plus or minus 1. So the whole inside here I replaced with the black. So we now got to go to f. 
replace both of these x's here with whatever we have on the inside of our parentheses, which is a 7x minus 1. So you're going to have a 7x minus 1 where the x is here, and then you'll have to square it. And then you'll have to have a 7x minus 1 where this x is with your 3 in front, and that's what we have here. So then you're going to have to eliminate your parentheses, and since there's a plus or minus sign, you cannot apply the square to each one. You're going to have to take a 7x minus 1 times a 7x minus 1. Foil that out. So when you foil that out, also distribute through your 3 here and collect your like terms. You end up getting a 49 squared plus a 7x minus a 2. Over here, we want to do something very similar. We want to go ahead, but now we're dealing with g. Take our 3 and plug it into g. So wherever you see an x up here in your g function, replace it with your 3. So it'll be 7 times your 3 minus your 1, which does simplify down to a 20. Or a g of triangle. Go up here to your function of g, replace your x with triangle, so you get 7 triangle minus 1. Or g of box, you go up to g, replace your x with your box, so you have a 7 box minus 1. Here we have a g of an f of x. So all I'm going to do is replace f of x with what I know f of x is, my x squared plus a 3x. So the inside f of x got replaced with this. I still have the g in front. So this says I now need to go to g. G just says 7 times your input minus 1. My input's what I have in the parentheses. So i got to go 7 times what's in the parentheses minus my 1. Distribute through, and then we have our answer. We have a couple more problems to do down here. Now, this one here is similar to what we had up above here. There's really two options to do this one. You could go ahead and work out everything that we did up here, get down to this. This is your f of g of x, and that's what we're looking for here, f of g of 2. So you could just go in and plug in 2 in each one of those spots and work it out. I prefer to do it a little bit different when we're dealing with the number. I prefer to work out the inside. g of 2. Well, g of 2 means I need to go to g, which is the 7x minus 1 and replace my x with a 2. So I get a 7 times a 2 minus a 1. That's just my g of 2, which simplifies down to a 13. So an f of 13 says I need to go to function f, replace both of these x's right here with a 13. So I get a 13 squared plus a 3 times a 13. And we can go ahead and add those together. Similarly, when you're looking at a g, of an f of 5. Since we just figured out a g of f of x up here, you could just replace both these x's with a 5. But I prefer to work the inside out, work from the inside out, work the inside out, f of 5, so you go to five, f, which is uh, your input squared plus 3 times your input, work that out, we get a 40, now go to g and plug in 40. g says 7 times your input minus 1. And so, then we get 279. I've been using this notation right here in our notes. The book will often use this notation. So, the first two are identical in meaning, meaning this right here is identical to this here, or the last two are identical in meaning. You can write it either way, it does not make a difference. If you did want to do composition of functions on your calculator, here's the notation for that. However, I don't think you really need to do that, but it's there if you need. 